everybody, welcome back to Northern Land Plays The Binding of Isaac. Not a challenge run today, because let's be honest here, as I play as Isaac, we've had some pretty bad runs, and not runs that I can blame the users for. Like, I can't blame bad conceptualization of challenge runs for the past few runs that have ended, you know, not exclusively in, in pain and suffering, but largely with kind of a disappointing uh, resolution at the end, shall we say. I don't know what it is, ever since I've come back from PAX, I've had a little bit of an Isaac hangover, and I'm doing this vanilla run as almost, you know, if this is an Isaac hangover that I'm suffering from right now, this is like an Isaac Bloody Mary that I'm gonna give myself. I'm gonna do a vanilla run, I'm gonna win the vanilla run hopefully, or at the very least, give it the old college try. If I lose because of the game, that's okay, it's just I don't want to lose because of my own uh, ignorance or lack of skill. That was kind of terrible uh, play there. And I've got to be a little bit more conscious, I think, of what I do. So there's no conditions on this run beyond the fact that if I do really poorly, I'm gonna have to take a toaster bath. Toaster bath, of course, being slang for, I guess, electrocuting myself to death, which is probably not cool, man. Not cool at all, but uh, we are looking for some keys so we can go to these item rooms. Unfortunately, that doesn't appear to be in the cards. It would be just my luck, I'll admit. Uh, to not be able to get any keys or go to any item rooms on a run where I'm trying to kind of reset my goodness, if that makes sense. Let's not make the same mistake twice uh, with respect to this nub and spider room. There's one key, and I do have the D6 as Isaac, so if I roll, or if I originally get a shitty item, we might be able to do something about that. Uh, you know what? I will take the quarter. It, it will provide a good foundation for us to build off of in the future, and it is an objective positive. Uh, especially being able to get a lot of money on the very first floor and we're gonna shoot all this fire because every cent could make a difference You never know uh, We are gonna need another key at some point unless we can bomb our way into the shop Or the other item room, but you know in order to make that happen We are going to need another bomb in the first place So, uh, you know, we've got a lot of consumable trouble right now Consumable concerns if you will which could possibly also double as a jeopardy category or something but in any case we're gonna hope for another key and hope that we get out of this floor smoothly, even if we can't go to the second item room. Oh, Judas Tongue is actually awesome. Uh, basically half price deals with the devil until we get rid of this for either a better trinket or the Polaroid a little bit later. Now I'm wary about that dude at the left side, uh, aka the strong side, because sometimes- oh, that was terrible again. Sometimes those dudes can kind of sneak out of those diagonal spots. There we go, there's our second key. Haven't had to use the D6 yet, I would like to either use it now or not use it at all so we can save it for the boss room. You know, this is real not great, but I think I will take Dead Bird because it's a passive. I tend not to look passive gift horses in the mouth, which is a modification of a phrase, uh, and no one will ever pick that up. I mean, you'll pick up on the reference, but no one's gonna start using that in their, uh, you know, modern day vernacular, if you will. In any case, uh, I, I tend to, if there's a passive item, even if it's not the greatest passive item, I will tend to pick it up, I think. There are exceptions, like if that was Holy Water, I almost certainly would have re-rolled it. Uh, if it was, I don't know, what's another shitty passive? Wiggle Worm, I probably would have re-rolled it. It's not necessarily shitty, it's just useless. Uh, but the Dead Bird is something that could end up saving us, especially as we start with, you know, fairly low health, making some, uh, boss fights early in the game risky if we run into some enemies that are kind of assholes. You know, it could happen. That was a very good use of the TNT in the center there. Obviously, we are looking for a third key. Been a little bit blessed so far in a secular way, uh, to be able to pick up as much or as many keys as I have so far, enough to at least allow me to go to the item rooms. But I would love to get one more, allow me to go to the shop. If we end up missing the first shop, it's not the end of the world, but at the same time, you never know. We could be missing map, it could be missing compass, ladder, book of revelations, you never know, basically. Uh, to reiterate on that statement that I said earlier. We could find some money in this poop, but it's probably unlikely at this point. I'm pretty psyched about getting Judas' tongue so early, though. Normally when I get this, uh, it, it takes me a little bit longer uh, in order to, or it, it's at the point, it's later in the game, so I don't really get that many deals with the devil, or I pick up Judas Tongue on challenge runs where I have no option to get a deal with the devil, and as such, it's functionally useless. But on this run, it could be very, very useful indeed. So we effectively traded a bomb for a bomb, a bang a bang, dicky. Oh, I'm not gonna do a Kid Rock reference again. Fuck that free pu publicity, Kid Rock. Uh, could you, Spider Man? Spider Man does whatever a spider can, apparently. Could the spider, there we go, finally come after me? Oh, he's just gonna go back to his hidey hole, I guess. There we go, finally. I do see the tinted rock, never fear. I will pick that up if I can. Well, I, I do have a bomb, so that's gonna be good. Please, a key, please. Got the exact opposite of a key, all right. If you're gonna be a dick, then I'm gonna be a dick too and just abandon you here. Uh, we're gonna shoot all this poop again, just trying to maximize my existing advantages. All is not lost yet, we can still get the crate or something from uh, one of these boss fights, but in the meantime, let's just try to do these without getting hit or without getting hit often, uh, so that I could possibly- oh my god, I got hit like immediately. 
But that doesn't matter. All that matters is not getting hit on the second boss fight so that we can possibly earn that deal with the devil. We could always go pick up some extra health here. I don't know why I'm taking so much damage against an enemy that should not be uh, that bothersome, really. Uh, Dead Bird, I don't care if you attack the Widow or the Nubs on the ground. Just attack something. Uh, and, and I'll handle the other aspect of things. No hearts, apparently, unless we're gonna get them when we destroy this nub right here. Uh, we did not, but we do get an HP upgrade. I'm obviously gonna take that, and we are gonna replenish our health a little bit here. Here's the thing, though. Do I have to backtrack all the way to get those hearts? I don't know. We, we've got our D6 saved up. We actually haven't used it, despite having four attempts on this floor, which I think is pretty awesome, but, uh, you know, presumably we should be able to beat Pin without taking damage, although it might be a little bit of a laborious effort. All right, and in the like immediately, I take damage against Pin. Uh, it is a champion in my own defense, but we'll just get Dead Bird kind of uh, to the point where he can get a lock on for targeting. Dead Bird seems to be doing pretty terribly so far, but whenever it pops up at the same spot where Dead Bird uh, like originally found it, it should be able to get some easy hits off. Oh my God, another spell of absolutely awful damage. But we're still doing totally fine right now. I, I can't really complain about our progress. We still have a, a lot of health left over. We probably will not earn a deal with the devil on this floor, if I had to guess. That being said, uh, that's not necessarily the end of the world. It's just kind of an unoptimal start, shall we say. Dead Bird proving its worth uh, now and then, at least. Uh, that time I really would have expected it to be able to get some hits off, but apparently not. You know, it's got unreliable AI, but it, it, I don't give it enough credit, probably, most of the time for the value that Dead Bird can actually hold. I, did, I believe, with perspective, that I should not have been hit there, but hey, we actually ended up picking up the Pentagram, which is an awesome plus two damage upgrade. We're gonna head down to the next floor, now that I feel incredibly nerdy about that statement. We're not playing fantastically so far, but we are playing sustainably. Of course, playing sustainably is going to uh, require us to play better as we get further and further into the game. Oh, that's not good. Definitely gonna take damage there, and it just blew me into this room. Uh, where I might take damage again, but this room is actually a, a lot more uh, easy to dodge. Hopefully those enemies stay dead in here. They do indeed. And, you know, there's our two rooms that we're gonna need keys for, so hopefully we come across those... You, oh, cruel mistress of fate. Um, well, hopefully we gain the ability to fly at some point, and hopefully we stop fighting these fucking, like, demon bomb rooms that have been so annoying so far. This is actually... I haven't seen this room in a long time, I think, but um, the layout is easy enough to deal with. We got a single bomb, that doesn't really matter to me. Really on the lookout for these keys, even if I could just get a... Uh... Headless... No, what is that card called? The card where you can fly for a single room? I've totally forgotten that now. Because I always end up using it like on runs where I already have some kind of passive flying ability. Well, who knows? Maybe we get a deal with the devil after this boss fight and that lets us get Spirit of the Night. Then we get both keys, we have an opportunity to go to the shop and the item room and we pick up something amazing as a result. That's my... Worst case scenario, if we manage to not get any keys before the boss room, which is actually looking kind of increasingly likely as we make progress here. Uh, again, certainly not overpowered by any stretch of the imagination right now, but uh, surviving. More bombs there. We're definitely going to take a look at this treasure chest. Hoping there was a secret room there, but there was not. We get two cents and another bomb, uh, but sadly no way to enter that item room or that uh, shop. So I'm feeling a little bit bereft of power in that sense. He's getting close! But occasionally he also gets tired, which is good for me. Uh, this should not be too, too bad. I should be able to beat this guy without taking damage. The important thing is just internalizing. Oh, that was awful. Well, I still didn't earn a fucking deal with the devil. And we have no way, sadly, to go to this item room. I still have not used my D6, which is crazy. Um, with this bomb, I the wed. No, with this bomb, I'm going to try to find the secret room. Uh, I guess we'll shoot this fire as well. I still can't really complain because we've gotten... Uh, oh god, that was awful damage. We've gotten some solid items. I haven't been playing fantastically. I would never, you know, go out on a limb and say that. But I, I, we've gotten decent items. We're doing decent DPS. Uh, we're just kind of squandering things uh, when it comes to keys. Like, I have all this money, but I can't go to the shop. Uh, I can't go to the item room either. Damn, basically. Uh, so I guess we're going down to the next floor. I'm not super happy with this so far, but at the same time, you know, with four heart containers, the ability to eventually get a deal with the devil at half price, uh, and the damage and tears upgrades that we've had so far, I can't really complain! That being said, a single mob trap room containing a skeleton key would do an awful lot towards making me uh, a little bit happier right now. But in the meantime, let's not, uh, you know, let's treat this as like the Isaac version of Thanksgiving. Let's be thankful for what we have. I'm kind of surprised I took damage there, but you saw what I was doing. That was a noble effort of dodging, at least. Rage would also be fantastic right now. Maybe we'll be able to use our D6 at some point. I think maybe I'm not pulling the trigger on the D6 all that often right now, because I'm so used to not being able to use my D6 
uh, that I'm just kind of like, I I've grown to accept shitty items, if that makes sense. And that's not a reality you want to live in, man. You want to be empowered. You know, re-roll knowing that Polyphemus or Mutant Spider is going to show up. That's the attitude you should have. It is certainly not the attitude I do have right now, though. Alright, that was an easy enough room. And I'm still, you know, desperately hoping for keys. Almost as if I was on a crate opening spree in TF2 or something. So this is a, it's a tricky room. No question about that. Can I get this guy to possibly, there we go, die. That's a good first step. Um, this is a harder situation here. It, it, this is genuinely a, a very difficult room to be dealing with right now. Oh, I still walked on the spikes. Okay. But I have Dead Bird now, unless Dead Bird has suddenly disappeared for some reason. Uh, unbeknownst to me. Now let's make our way down here. If only I had a key, I could visit that shop. Uh, but in the meantime, I'm, even though I've lost a spirit heart, I am actually pleased with how this room has gone, believe it or not. Simply because it is such a goddamn pain when you don't have a Ouija board. Now just don't get hit on the worst part of this room. And it's the worst because it would be the most embarrassing. Uh, we did get half a red heart there, which is, you know, valuable, but not all that useful for us uh, right now. So what we'll do is kill these spiders, then we'll leave and come back. Uh, you know what, that's probably... That was exactly the opposite of what I wanted. I wanted the, the golden poop to stay, but the flies to leave. Instead, the flies stayed, but the golden poop left. Now, there is our uh, boss room, which I'm not totally happy about. Uh, especially as I continue to take some pretty dumb damage here. That being said, uh, there is a chest here, and I have enough bombs to access it. And I'm hoping that that contains at least a key. Okay, well, there's another key over there. So we'll probably look around to try to go to the shop and the item room. Uh, well, we have more bombs. Uh, yeah, we'll probably look, ah, but I could fight the boss right now, and then I'll have the D6 ready to reroll if necessary, and it's a fairly easy boss, so I'm okay with this. I'm actually gonna take this bomb, and, uh, totally waste it, apparently, but we've been getting a lot of bombs, so I'm not sweating that too much. And on that, I, I really, seriously only took off one segment of that dude there, and I'll continue to take damage, because I'm terrible, which will probably invalidate my chances of, oh, there's three of them now. Uh, which will probably, again, make it impossible for me to get a deal with the devil, thereby making Judas' tongue useless. And so far, it's so not great with respect to my um, attempts to play better. Uh, but at least, you know, I I'm, I'm doing it my way this time, in true Paul Anka style. Oh, Paul Anka style. Burr, 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 eh, whatever. My heart's not in it. Uh, we're going to reroll this tears upgrade. Not that psyched. Much more psyched about a health upgrade. We also picked up a couple of spirit hearts there at some point. We'll get a deal with the devil, and then you'll be sorry. Who's gonna laugh then? You know, probably not that many people. But, regardless. There is a library. Do I want to spend my only key on the library? Probably not. Where do I want to spend my only key? I think if we're going, like, we're aiming for the moon. Trying to get all of the, the cards in a game of hearts. Or a hand of hearts, I guess I should say. That was a good chain reaction, and somehow didn't take damage. Well, now that we've got two keys, we can afford to go to shop and item room. Even if something goes terribly in the shop. But I was gonna say, we should just go to the shop in all likelihood. Uh, because, you know, it, the odds of there being a key in there are not bad. And additionally, it, oh, it was so bad. Uh, even if we fight greed, you know, we'll get some reward for it, whereas... The item room could just potentially give us a bunch of shitty items. You never know. Hopefully we get more keys though, because I'm, uh, you know, I'm in this for the long haul. Let's go to the chest. I'm going to need at least four for that. Our item room contains attack fly. Again, a middling passive item that I feel compelled to not skip over for whatever reason. At some point, re-rolling is going to be uh, in the cards for us. Or in the dice, as the case might be. Oh, well, I boxed myself into a corner and got extraordinarily lucky to not take damage there. Sometimes, what can I say, the troll engine just likes me a little bit. And I'm really feeling the burn of not having a, uh, a spectral tears like a Ouija board or a, um, you know, a technology or a brimstone or a mom's knife or something like that. It's our first pill of the game, knowing my luck is probably health down. Bad trip? Well, similar, but actually a little bit better. It's kind of sad that uh, bad trip all of a sudden doesn't seem like that bad of a pill. I almost dodged right into that. Here's our shop. Uh, I'm feeling again like it might be a possibility that we run into greed. If so, it's not the end of the world. Could potentially give us a, a steam sale or something worth re-rolling at this point because we don't really want a steam sale for two remaining shops. That was bad damage, but, you know, we've already lost our spirit heart, so it's not the end of the world. It is indeed super greed. I don't know why it's so easy to predict this at this point. I think it's to do with the amount of money that you have. But, you know, in my own brain, I just feel like I'm actually a little bit psychic. So thank God, by the way, I, I might not have made the best decisions on this run so far as I continue to possibly very nearly die against Super Greed here. Uh, oh my God. But picking up Dead Bird was definitely a positive decision as it is possibly 
uh, going to be one of the key factors in allowing me to actually kill bosses. Although, you know, my, my base damage is fairly strong in its own right right now. Uh, we got a key for killing greed, which means this library is going to be a possibility, and God only knows what we could do if we get a uh, Book of Belial or a Book of Revelations. I'm probably going to waste my key trying to make that happen, but it's probably worth it regardless. We really just need to be able to go to a shop and spend some of these 45 cents, so I'm hoping, you know, we get a spacebar item worthy of getting a 9 volts or a battery or a nun savage. And I gotta kick myself out of the slump, man. I got the yips right now. Uh, if we're gonna use baseball terms, I'm such a poser because I don't know anything about baseball, but I just use the yips. What can I say? I am a Curb Your Enthusiasm fan. Uh, so we are gonna use our, our key here. We're gonna kind of gamble and hope that we get something amazing in here. None of those are good, but in a reroll, we'll get exactly the same items again. Actually, I think one of them might have been Monster Manuel might have turned into Telepathy for Dummies. Beautiful. Uh, so now we're, we're starting to get kind of pushed to the wall here. Bad on health or low on health. Uh, bad on my own skill, shall we say. Uh, decent enough damage. This a skilled player, even me, uh, when I was when I play fairly well, uh, would certainly be capable of taking this run further than I feel like I'm capable of taking it now. But really. Confidence is such a, 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 a transient or fluid thing, isn't it? Because if I had confidence, I feel like I'd be doing a lot better, but in order to get my confidence back, I've got to start doing better. We've got a little bit of a vicious cycle going on here. I'm not actually, like, like my self-confidence hasn't eroded to the point where I think I'm a terrible person or anything like that. I think I'm just being very inconsistent when it comes to the Binding of Isaac right now. But, you know, this could be the run where we turn it all around. What could be greater than playing a game of golf with a gator, as Nick would say? So let's just hide out here and if I just continually back it up a little bit, ah, almost dodge right into that. That's the, the Northern Lion story right there, is accidentally dodging into an enemy when you you put yourself in a position where you don't have to move in order to avoid it. Now, this guy should be dead real shortly if I could actually just get a hit off. Will this attack fly actually prove its worth? Probably not, but maybe. You know, Maggie's Faith is actually going to be way better for us than uh, Judas Tongue. That being said, th watch my luck. We'll get, we'll take Maggie's Faith. Actually, we can just take Judas' tongue for the rest of this floor and then go with Maggie's Faith after we beat the boss and whether we... If, if, if there's a deal with the devil, maybe we want to hold on to Judas' tongue. Uh, if there's not a deal with the devil, then we want to obviously go with Maggie's Faith just to start stacking up HP upgrades. Uh, if it wasn't worth it for the red chest, it's definitely worth going over to here to pick up the heart. Uh, the red chest obviously was not worth it, but the heart was regardless, I would say. So we're gonna ignore the blood bank for now, but in the future that might be in the cards for us. If I get an extra bomb, it's possible that the secret room might allow us to go into that shop without the waste of a key, which would obviously be pretty valuable at this point. I could also play the shit out of that slot machine, which might be a good idea in order to, or a good method, if you will, in order to get some keys to make things happen. If only I had skeleton key, I feel like I might have amassed a few more advantages over the course of this run. There's one key, we'll use that to go to the shop in all likelihood. Um, Let's not open that chest yet, because bombs... There might be more valuable usages for bombs, shall we say. These guys are the ultimate AI! Seriously, like, I tried... You... Watch that clip in slow motion. There were, like, ten changes of pace I tried to do. There are changes of direction in order to deke out those damn eyeless ooze guys. But they got me every time, man. I can't compete with these computer brains. I accidentally just unlocked the item room, so hopefully that's good. Or there's a key in here. Uh, there is a half heart. That's a little better. He says half-heartedly. Now, Spelunker's Helmet, I don't like all that much. We'll reroll it. Book of Sin, I also don't like all that much, but it gave us a Spirit Heart, so I feel fairly okay about that reroll. We'll probably reroll that again, though, is my guess. Uh, yeah, that was a, a waste of a key by accident, but hey, you know, we traded a key for a Spirit Heart functionally and to crack at a, an item in the future. We still have a little bit of exploration to do here. Uh, we should... Oh my god, don't walk into the fire, you ding dong! I've already lost the Spirit Heart that I gained. It's, it's a combination of bad skill, you know, Tiger Woods has a quote, you make your own luck, right? Uh, I feel like I'm making my own bad luck right now by not playing well. I'm not giving myself the opportunities to be lucky uh, like I previously did. So I've really just got to crack myself out of this slump. Someone's just got to hit me on the head with a frying pan or something. I don't know, maybe I watched too many cartoons when I was younger. It should work though, man. It worked for Wile E. Coyote. Now, nah, never, nothing ever worked for Wile E. Coyote. What am I talking about? So we do have two blood banks here. I know what you're thinking. Northern Lion, why don't you uh, go for the ultimate gamble uh, and, you know, put the, that blood bank next to the other blood bank and then try to earn double HP upgrades 
well, uh, the Blood Bank is going to be half off because you'll be able to play twice as much with the same amount of health due to the invincibility, invincibility period. I feel you, man, but at the same time, I've got to save some health to fight this boss. There's another key that's going to be extremely valuable. Uh, oh, wow, I wish it didn't come into this room. Um, but yeah, that is going to be extremely valuable uh, if we get some extra health. But anyway, there's a red chest. Two spirit hearts! All is well! Uh, let's hope that blows both of them up, and it did indeed. That was worth both of our bombs. I know that seems like a high price to pay, but I was pretty confident I was going to take some damage there. Now, don't let me forget that Maggie's Faith is here. If we de if we get a deal with the devil, maybe we take Judas' tongue down with us to the next floor. But if we don't... Oh, the AI! It's too good! Uh, if we don't get a deal with the devil, we definitely want to take Maggie's Faith down with us. At least for one floor, so we can basically get a free HP upgrade. Because at some point... These deals with the devil are not going to be possible. Oh my god, that was probably the best dodge I've ever done. I had to uh, access parts of my brain that haven't been used in years in order to reverse my direction like that uh, so quickly. It's like I was playing Panzer Dragoon Order again or something. Okay, so we have 49 cents and one key. That's not a ratio I like all that much. Let's go check out this boss room. Or sorry, this shop in the hopes that we end up picking, picking up something amazing. If I could get a good item from the shop... Which I can, and a key, and a red heart, and a spirit heart. Uh, we might as well, you know, throw our entire wallet at the screen right now. Um, but if we can get all of this, and then possibly also get a good deal with the devil coming up right now, and then maybe we can play that blood bank with temperance, you never know, then we could basically turn things around 180 degrees right here. Or if you prefer, we can turn them around. Oh, ah, uh -uh, that didn't hit me. I'm amazed. Uh, oh, that one did. Now I feel like an idiot. Or we can turn things around 360 degrees and then moonwalk towards a better future, if you will. Uh, but in any case, I'm feeling confident about the fact that we just picked up the compass. That is a, a big upgrade. It's more of a... You know, the compass is like a flavor upgrade. It's like adding sauce to your meal. Uh, or, you know, getting onion rings instead of french fries. It's not gonna make the meal the best meal you've ever had, but it does accentuate an already good meal. You know, I know there's people out there that are going to be like, Unsubscribe! Northern Lion prefers onion rings to french fries. I'm sorry, man. Something about that delicious, like, onion ring tempura-esque batter just gets me moist in all the right areas. Probably, you know, under the, the folds of my man skin. Uh, let's just keep moving backwards here. Dead Bird doing a good job of uh, crowd controlling those little gish heads. You know, we are going to pick up Little Gish here, which is a, a solid upgrade in its own right as well. We do get a deal with the devil, which we could reroll if necessary. Everything's coming up. Millhouse! Ah, uh, we get the uh, half price mark. Seems like a deal that I don't want to pass up. So let's take half price mark and then reroll this. Half price Guppy's tail doesn't seem that interesting to me. And you know what? I'm going to try to shoot the moon. People are going to be pissed for a second. They're going to say, Northern Lion! Ah, uh, you know what? Actually, it probably is smarter to get Maggie's Faith. My, my reasoning being that for the same, you know, backwards reasoning that I was going to use earlier, um, Judas' tongue is only going to be used. Maggie's faith is only going to be useful for us on this next immediate floor, because then we have to pick up the Polaroid. But similarly, Judas' tongue is going to be the same. We might not get a deal with the devil after the uh, mom boss fight, so we might as well take the reliable uh, one heart upgrade, like one heart container upgrade. That was bad play on my part there. I should pick up the more money here. So we're just playing the uh, temperance right now, or the the blood banks, because we could possibly earn another deal with the devil. If we get a little lucky anyway. At the very least, we're going to earn a lot of money. And for now, I do have the spirit hearts necessary. I should place these in, like, the worst position. It's very difficult for me to actually move back and forth between them right now. At the very least, we're going to get, um... You know, a lot of money. I, I thought that was my opportunity. That was my time to shine right there. Uh, we ended up just picking up, like, 16 cents. Which is cool, I guess. But uh, at the same time, would have preferred one or two HP upgrades plus speed upgrades, as you might expect. In any case, we do have one key. So all is not lost, we will have the potential to go to the shop here. Feeling pretty confident that we're going to run into greed on the shop here, but since we still have the D6, an item room could be extraordinarily valuable as well. Maggie's Faith has obviously given us that eternal heart that we are going to do our damnedest to protect and probably fail at, but stranger things have happened. And we are, you know, kind of a one-man powerhouse when it comes to items right now, at least. Uh, we're going to probably explore this, the entirety of this floor, so we should uh, do our damnedest. To check out this side first. I'm assuming this side is not going to loop back around and allow us to uh, attack the boss. I'm assuming this is going to take us to the shop and possibly uh, a dead end on the other side of things. Which is okay. I'm not going to pick up that scent yet because it's not worth the risk of me losing an entire spirit heart. Obviously we're on Necropolis and uh, that pisses me off because I'm going to lose a lot of health on rooms like this. I can't afford to take damage to the hearts. You know, getting hit by the masks, that shit just happens. 
Uh, but I seriously cannot afford to take damage to the uh, the hearts themselves, because those are the easy guys. Those are the ones that are, are supposed to be the gimmies. They got a lot of HP, I'll, I'll give you that. But at the same time, HP doesn't make a good stake, if you know what I mean. You need damage as well, which those skulls definitely have, or masks, I should say. Alright, easy room, good tarot card. The tower, maybe the worst tarot card. Our shop does contain greed. Um, I hope, well he's gonna be way easier to fight than super greed, not just because I'm doing extra damage and he'll be slowed, but uh, also because just innately I think he has less HP. We're gonna get a little bit of money as a result, hopefully some more consumable drops at the end of the room. Single key. You know what, that compensates for the key that we spent to get in there, so I feel okay about that. Uh, we're definitely gonna go to the library, we're probably gonna go to the arcade, and we're absolutely gonna go to the item room as well. Not feeling fantastic about my chances so far, but you know what? It, it, things have turned around a little bit. I've not played fantastically on this run, I'll give you that. No question about that. At the same time, I feel like I've, I've pulled it around a little bit in the back half here. Uh, although things are definitely starting to go off the rails now, I really would love to get some more red heart drops. Otherwise, Maggie's faith is going to prove worthless if I end up getting, you know, hit on this room. Which means I've got to pay very close attention to my peripheral vision, which is going to alert me to when I'm within the range of these enemies. There we go. Uh, please drop some red hearts. Actually, please drop some blue hearts, some spirit hearts, so I can protect Maggie's faith a little bit. Uh, maybe we'll get lucky in that... Uh, no, we're going to get hit here. <laughs> I might be able to get- oh, there it goes. I was gonna say I might be able to get lucky on this room because there's not that many enemies, but at the same time, they are like my least favorite enemies all stacked up in a row, which is not nice. Now, we're uh, on the verge of death here. I really just want to beat Mom. Uh, it feels like it's been a while since that's happened, which is pretty embarrassing. Now, just play it cool. Attack Fly will do some good work for you. Okay, that was real close. Keep it up, Attack Fly. I need you to hit this spider down here. Thank you for weakening him. Good. We gotta be a little bit more tactical now. No, all is not lost. It might seem like all is lost. But we can swing this in our favor pretty quickly. We just need to not get hit by any bombs on this room, which might be a tall order. Oh, God. Um, more enemies that die, the better it is. We gotta kinda stay away from the walls here. Otherwise, they could easily surprise us with a nasty bomb. Please just give me some more red hearts. Give me one more guaranteed room of survival. Of course, instead of that, um, we're gonna get big series of bombs and fistula parts here and I'm gonna get trapped in the corner and somehow not take damage there holy shit I really should be dead about four times over but rooms over we ended up picking oh that bomb could have killed me as well we end up picking up more money which is worthless uh, except we can use it at the uh, candy shop now we can use it at the arcade to possibly earn some hearts or something and there we go single half red heart thank you troll engine for uh, coming through in the clutch there in literally the worst or the least you could do. Uh, Blood of the Martyr is a damage upgrade, which I took without a second thought. I do need health, but I'm never gonna look a, a gift horse in the mouth when it comes to a damage upgrade. I'm gonna reroll this. I know you're saying Book of Shadows might be interesting. It's it's good short term, long term it's not gonna be enough. We really need to push for either Belial or uh, Revelations. We can come back here later. In the meantime, let's go to this arcade because I desperately need to get some health. That's a good start, and you know what? This fortune teller might be a good start as well. Uh, when it comes to giving me spirit hearts, or, you know, two of hearts, that's a beautiful card. That's gonna take us back to full health, uh, which means we could probably justify just leaving here now. Uh, cause I can't really do anything else. I mean, I guess safety cap is, a, or liberty cap is a little bit better for us moving forward. Uh, because Maggie's faith is not gonna do anything for us on this floor anyway. So, you know, we might as well make our way to this boss. Odds are that the, uh, boss item is gonna be better than the two items that we have in the library right now, so if I do get a D6 charge before that boss fight, it's probably in my best interest to go back to the library and use it wisely. I'm psyched about that damage upgrade, it's definitely not enough. We're not at that point yet where we can be like, oh, damage upgrade, sweet, that, like, we're in the clear now. At some point, you know, that change is gonna come, if we survive long enough. Uh, you can see, I mean, we're doing good damage, we're, we're very much a glass cannon right now. Unfortunately, our glass is too brittle. And our, our cannon is just not quite strong enough to, to justify that moniker in a way that'll allow us to win. But at least if we beat Mom, you know, that'll be a little bit of, uh, of proof that I've still got it to some extent when it comes to Isaac. Not playing fantastically by any, any stretch of the imagination, but I am still alive without an amazing run. Although it has been fairly good so far. So, you know, it's baby steps getting back to proficiency. It's like I got in an Isaac car accident and I'm going through physical therapy... Uh, trying to make myself walk again. That's probably a, a terrible analogy to use. Are you really gonna 
fucking give me Book of Shadows. Whatever, okay? We're gonna roll Book of Shadows. I'm not happy about it. Uh, I don't think it's fair to give up the D6 for this, but we're also, we're kind of, we got our back against the wall, essentially. So, Book of Shadows, it's not a bad item. It's gonna give us long periods of invincibility. Sadly, we do not have a battery or a 9-volt to accentuate it, nor do we have a nun's habit, so I don't think it's gonna be an item that pushes us over the top. You know, and I, I would give up Book of Shadows in a heartbeat if we were able to pick up the nail or something instead. Uh, what I might want to do here is try to use Book of Shadows in conjunction with the tower, uh, so that I'm immune from the bombs as they come out, but you know, if I don't have to use Book of Shadows on this fight, I, I'm not going to, because I, I definitely want to save it and, and use it when necessary on, uh, you know, the, the womb, should it come to that. If I can get through this fight without getting hit, then it kind of doesn't matter. I'm just going to continue moving around here. If I get through this fight without getting hit, then, I, then I've made a great decision. If I get hit, then I've made a terrible decision, even if I only get hit once. But so far, it's gone very well. Might even be a smart idea to use Book of Shadows to just not get hit by the explosion that always gets me at the end of this fight. But we're almost done with this regardless. Let's kill the eye. Oh, we ended up getting through it. That was fantastic. So we'll take the Polaroid. We'll take the HP upgrade. Uh, we'll take the Spirit Heart. We have the Compass. We might survive long enough to beat Mom's Heart. But, to get beyond that, we are going to need some, some serious benefits. I'm going to pop Book of Shadows here because I hate everything and everyone. Even if I only end up killing two hearts here. But Book of Shadows has a, a prolonged effect. Always longer than you expect it to be. Uh, always longer than I expect it to be anyway. And I think it charges once every four rooms, which is not as bad as charging once every six rooms. And you know what? Honestly, this room is not necessarily hard, but it's probably harder than whatever boss we're going to fight. Watch me eat my words and we'll end up fighting like Champion Bloat or something like that. Or like a Champion Mask of Infamy that is just totally immune. Can't take damage at all. Uh, actually, Book of Shadows might charge in three rooms, which would be even better. Is this the turning point? Is this where things start getting amazing for me? I doubt it. But, that is our boss room, and we, we will have our Book of Shadows charged for that if necessary. Uh, I don't feel like it's going to be necessary unless we end up fighting a surprisingly difficult boss, but, you know, stranger things have happened. More bombs is awesome because we'll be able to use those, obviously. Um, probably at this point we're looking towards the Mom's Heart boss fight, and I'm starting to feel a little bit more confident. I'm starting to, you know, Stella's got her groove back a little bit didn't even require sex tourism. So let's sneak through here, and uh, we are going to be fighting death, which is a weird boss to be fighting on utero, I suppose. Eh, maybe not that weird. Uh, as these things come in here, I am going to pop Book of Shadows, which should make it a little bit easier to kill this boss. The sights don't really worry me all that much. Uh, we're about to run out of Book of Shadows here, probably, yeah. So I'm just going to kind of get out of the way of this horse. I really want to kill uh, Death before he spawns zombies. Sadly, uh, no such luck, I guess, but those zombies might just get taken out by the horse regardless. Death is dead, the horse is dead, and that was a very easy boss fight. We did earn a deal with the devil as well as a cube of meat. Let's see what that deal with the devil has for me. Brimstone. We're taking it. We have no tier effects that are not going to pass over to Brimstone, so that's definitely worthwhile. This is not... There's going to be people who are like, Northern Lion, the big mistake in your run is when you took Brimstone. That's not true, motherfucker. And you know what? <sighs> Shit, Book of Belial plus Brimstone might be better than Book of Shadows. Um, it's not true. Brimstone is going to make me more offensively powerful. Is this going to compensate for the health that we lost? Probably. Uh, I, I can't say with certainty, otherwise it wouldn't be very much of a fun game if like every decision was black and white, right? But... Um, in my experience, in my uh, estimation, my gut reaction is that Brimstone is going to make things a lot easier for us. And we're kind of getting a uh, proof of concept of that already, I would say, by the speed at which I've been able to kind of tear through these rooms. Now remember, I do have, like, very solid uh, damage in my own right as well, so Brimstone always scales well with damage. We're fighting Mom's Heart, all of a sudden these bombs aren't a necessary use uh, on this fight. That being said, we probably still will want to use them. Uh, at least to take out a lot of these enemies. We should definitely pop Book of Belial, though. It would be silly of me if not to do that, at least. Uh, I, I, I like our chances moving forwards. At least, you know, beating Isaac is the kind of thing that might not be in the cards at all, but it's not going to be Brimstone's fault if I don't beat Isaac. Let's put it that way. Especially considering, you know, we're, uh, we've are we concentrated, essentially, our fire into a single beam, which is going to be way better for not getting shot by Isaac a hundred times, as opposed to the run that we had earlier, uh, where we absolutely would have been hit by Isaac pretty much continuously. Uh, I'm basically just trying to do crowd control here. We're not killing him as fast as I would like, or killing Mom's heart, which I guess would technically be a her? I don't know. Um, not killing it as fast as I would like. You know, Chubb has already spawned here. Uh, but we're definitely killing it in a methodical and a, uh, a sustainable way, which is perhaps more important than... 
killing it quickly. We might see enemies over and over and over. We might see, uh, you know, multiple zombies as we have here. We might see multiple Dukes of Flies. I don't know. Multiple of those cysts, but we're gonna kill Mom's Heart here regardless. Multiple Dukes of Flies. Wow, that was turned out to be kind of prophetic. I didn't expect that. And we do have a chest here. I'm probably selfishly hoping that that contains Spirit Hearts, which may or may not be in the cards for us. Uh, just really don't want to get hit as we close out the fight here. Don't want to walk on the creep either. Probably three or four more hits would be able to do this. It's going to be a challenge to fight Isaac. That's for damn sure. Uh, but regardless, I'm pleased with the way that we, we handled that. We're just going to wait for this creep to dissipate. Now, if we went down to Shoal, that extra key actually could be valuable if we end up making it to the chest. If we went to Shoal... We'd probably have a decent chance to beat the boss, but that is kind of, in my opinion, pussying out a little bit. By the way, we have like the greatest item now for taking out my least favorite enemy in the game, which is that white bomb fly. In any case though, even though we might not be, uh, you know, basically guaranteed to get any kind of success here. I, oh, that was stupid. I do feel regardless uh, that I've made some significant progress over the course of this episode. I do feel like I've got my confidence back a little bit, and that was ostensibly the... Um, secondary purpose of this run, beyond merely entertaining. You might be wondering, Northern Lion, why are you still hanging out in this room? Okay, one more hit will kill me. Either way, even if we die right here, it was worth it, man. Better to have died young than never truly lived, or something like that. I, there we go, we've survived. I was hoping to get some kind of consumable drop when we finished this room, and we did! Single penny. Real useful, alright. So I'm, I'm prepared for death, I'm not afraid. Uh, but hopefully we can pick up some red hearts and make this run last a little bit longer. You know, bombs and pennies, I guess those are useful as well. I'm hoping this isn't gonna be the room where it all comes crashing down. Northern Lion, use Book of Belial, they screamed. And he looked them in the eye and he said, no, it's too good to use right now. Which is probably, um, what will end up being my downfall at the end. Thank you, little Gish, for making that, uh, much simpler than it could have been. We get a half red heart and we live to fight at least another room. Uh, okay, we just gotta dodge these guys. Once it, once you get out of the range of these bomb flies, you're basically under zero risk. Uh, as provided you can stay out of that range. Now we are unfortunately uh, at the point... Oh, actually, I don't know why I said unfortunately. Because all of a sudden I realize we have a tinted rock in here that could provide me with a new lease on life. That's why I like these, uh, these runs where you don't have all that much health. Oh my god, are you seriously just gonna give me a golden chest? Uh, I like these runs where you don't have all that much health. Because you're constantly living spontaneously. Now, that, uh, and by living spontaneously, oh my god, how did I not get hit there? To a certain extent, I mean, uh, you know, living with negative consequences. Oh, I thought I could make it work, but yeah, th it's crazy how quickly that, went room, that room went downhill. It was doing well, Tinted Rock ended up not working out, but in any case, that was fun. Thanks to Edmund McMillan for making the Binding of Isaac so I could do this challenge run. That was just vanilla, but in any case, I feel like I got my groove back a little bit. I'm reinvigorated. As always, thank you guys for watching. Continue suggesting your own challenge runs. I will do the ones that need most entertaining or appropriate. Do I hear $100, $150 sold to you guys, who I will see next time. Thanks for watching.